Hi everyone, it's Irit. This video is a bit all over the place, so I do apologize. I just want to talk a bit about the Peerless watercolors, um, about how I organize my uh, watercolors, and after I show that, um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the different packages that I know and own. Um, and just try to maybe break it down a little bit and tell you my uh, recommendations if you only if you don't want to get so many <laughs> like I do. So here we go. Hi everyone. Um, just a short video about this awesome product. I've seen a few YouTube videos, uh, really good ones from some of my favorite YouTubers like Jennifer McGuire and um, um, Amy R, I think her name is. Uh, she's a card maker and I love her videos. And she uh, posted one recently about the Peerless uh, watercolors. Um, I'm not gonna go into, in this video, about um, like techniques or actually using them. I just wanted to show you how I uh, organize them, how I find the system that kind of works for me. Um, Jennifer McGuire also has a video and she cuts them down to like small strips and then puts them in this divided uh, type of like page protector uh, and uses it like that. Um, I don't have any of those um, like special page protectors with these little pockets. So this is how I do this. Um, I just cut them down. This is like one sheet. So. Um, just to show you how I do this, I really just cut like half, put adhesive on this side. You have to make sure you put the adhesive on the right side, so on the like sample color side and not the pigment side. I adhere it to a regular piece of white cardstock and I write this is from this uh, specialty uh, package, so I don't really care um, like to know which package it is, but just because uh, I make videos and I want to be able to um, let the people know exactly uh, what product I use, that's why I write it, just for reference. But um, otherwise, I would probably... Uh, just make a sample with the color. So I write the shade, you see it's printed on this side, and then I grab my water brush making sure that it's clean and make a sample. And that's it. And wait for it to dry before I stack them up. Okay, so this is how I make my samples for the Peerless watercolor. Um, I've learned from experience that I'm not a big organizer. I don't enjoy this whole process of organizing and categorizing and doing all that stuff. But when it comes, especially to things like inks and mists and uh, watercolors, um, that are not like cake watercolors that you can see in kind of the color that they are, kind of, sometimes. Um, it's best to spend a little time at the beginning and then the whole process is just so much easier when you have a quick reference um, because these, the way they are on this side, they don't look at all like the real colors. And, you know, I don't want every time I do something with watercolor to have to um, try out the colors and see how they really look. So this is just a piece of like plain white cardstock. For this, I don't bother with uh, watercolor paper. And I just use my water brush, but you can just also use a regular um, brush with some water and I just make a sample to get an idea 
of the color. And you want to be careful and wait until this is completely dry uh, before you stack them up. So clean your brush in between, take a little bit color, and as you can see, this is why I love the Peerless watercolors. They are just so vibrant. So vibrant. And I really, the artist grade watercolors that I have, I have just a few um, shades in um, like solid form or cake or whatever you want to call them um, that look like this if I can get it open like these um, they are just the peerless are so much more affordable so and the quality is amazing and I just leave them to dry and then I store them in a box like the um, Project Life mini kits or something. And as you can see, you know, I think making a sample yourself is a really, really good idea because if I remember correctly, this color, the mixed berry. Where is it? It looks quite different. Now, the shade might appear a little different on a uh, watercolor paper, but I mean, look at this. This is quite a difference. And let's see the carnation pink. I have it here somewhere. That's pretty close. And this is also, it's not exactly the same. It's pretty close. So my point is that even if you hate organizing and categorizing like me, it's really worth to spend the time uh, with these type of uh, products um, so you can get a quick reference of how the colors really look. Oh, I love this shade of like a warm pink. It's beautiful. Okay, so I hope that was useful a little bit. Um, this is the complete edition. It has 15 colors and all kinds of like nice explanations about the um, the company and the product and every color has like this nice description of what you can use it for so you know sky florals that type of thing um, it's a good basic selection of all the colors um, I didn't make a sample samples of all of them because there are a couple of shades that um, I'm, I don't think I will use or not that often so uh, there are more you don't you can't see them all in this uh, film sorry in this photo um, this is a good basic uh, start if you really want um, like a basic selection there's also a brown a dark uh, blue and a darker green um, so it's a nice package this is the Joanne palette colors and it has also 15 colors. Uh, you can see I made samples of all of them except the two that you see on the top right uh, because those shades are not that appealing to me. I have to say if I had to choose one package I would go with this one. It has lots of bright colors um, which really fit my style and what I like to create um, like the type of backgrounds or um, elements that I like to create with watercolors. Um, unlike the complete um, package that only has like a couple of blues, this one has a really nice selection of really beautiful uh, blue and turquoise and aqua colors. So if you like what I do in my scrapbooking and with watercolors, then I think you would like 
this package. Um, I think it costs around $14. That's, that's what I've seen, uh, which is, I think, really a great price for what you get here. This is a fun little package. It's called Pretty in Pink, and as you can see, it has uh, six shades of pink and um, one purple, I would say. Um, if you really, really like pink, like me, then this is a great addition, uh, but I wouldn't get just this. I would get it in addition to uh, one of the other packages. Another option is the bonus pack and this one has 40 colors that are not included in the complete edition. Um, I got this package a while ago, so I think a couple of years ago, and some colors I used up completely. Um, you can get it, the um, most popular one I've seen is uh, two inch squares, but there's also like the full size uh, version of this uh, package but I haven't seen that in the stores where I um, shop uh, but in the webpage of the company um, there is also that package but so I have a lot of colors that I didn't touch because there are so many colors in this package and then there are ones that I completely used up and that's also why I got more uh, because that's what I, I've been using the bonus pack until now and so I would say if you like every color in the rainbow and you do a lot of things with watercolor, um, you know, maybe like little things like little um, um, drawings or something like that or cards or whatever, then this could be a good choice. But if you like, like me, if you do backgrounds or bigger things and you like specific colors, you know, you usually use the same colors, then if the other package has colors that you like, I would go for the Joanne color palette, probably. Um, yeah, that's just my two cents about this. So I hope this was not too agonizing <laughs> and long. <laughs> um, next time I'll try to do a better job with this type of videos. So I hope this was uh, helpful in any way. If you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment and I'll be posting a couple of pages soon where I actually used <laughs> these colors and not just organized them and talked about them um, on my pages. So uh, I hope uh, you'll stick around and watch those also. Have a great day and a great week. Bye!